Well, tonight moviegoers are in shock over the news that the historic Cinerama Dome in Hollywood will not be reopening. Unique building is one of the most beloved theaters in the world. So what's going to happen to the dome? Big question, good question. Some people worry that it could be torn down to make way for another business or restaurant. KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen, he's live in Hollywood with the very latest on this. Jeff. Jasmine and Jeff, nearly a quarter century ago, the Cinerama Dome was at risk of being redeveloped. Well, now there are concerns of an unwanted encore. All around the Pacific Cinerama Dome are signs of redevelopment in Hollywood, which is why cinephiles have expressed fear over what will happen to this valuable land after the theater's owners closed it for good because of the financial strains of the pandemic. The hue and cry that has been coming out on social media last night and today really demonstrates that this is a building that resonates with people throughout the, the county. Linda Dishman knows all too well. In the late 90s, she and the LA Conservancy fought a proposal to gut the Cinerama Dome and replace its lobby with a restaurant. The fight made its way to City Hall. The Cinerama Dome is a city landmark, a city historic cultural monument designated back in 1998. Ken Bernstein says it would be very difficult and costly to demolish and redevelop the site likely cost uh, in, in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's because an environmental impact report that could take about a year would be required. Then there's the public review process. The 1963 mid-century design was featured in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which is why this couple paid tribute to an icon after the closure was announced. Encapsulates the story that buildings matter to people and that's why we need to save them. And the dome's historic cultural landmark status does not provide ironclad protection, but the city's Heritage Commission does have jurisdiction over any redevelopment effort. We're live in Hollywood, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.